Hey, welcome back. Wait. I can't let you down. Sure? Yes. You don't look like you're ready. You I'm ready. Than you were a few minutes ago. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm ready. <clears throat> Ain't no burps in there? No, I'm not going to burps. Hey, welcome back. You're with Pillow Talk with T and Tay. Who are you? I am T, and this is my wife, Tay. That's us, y'all. Um, gosh, technology. Thank you guys for joining us today with Pillow Talk with T and Tay. Um, T's going to be doing the intros for the whole month. He said he's ready. I have confidence in him. He did good, didn't he, y'all? What? You did. You did great. No? Okay, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching us last month and sharing your insights with us. Those of you who reached out and said, hey, we are enjoying the content. We appreciate that. We hope that we can continue to bring more information, more content, just about having healthy, happy relationships, because that's what our focus is, is to display that. So that way it can be seen that there are happy marriages out there. Um, there are healthy marriages out there. And um, um, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, our, that's our focus, <laughs> is to definitely display that to you all. Um, as best we can like we're not perfect and i will continue to attest to that that we're not perfect but we are happy and our relationship is very healthy um, because we do communicate a lot and it is god-centered um so that's the gist of it and where, where we are but we just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in each week to us um for pillow talk with tnt um we hope you enjoy the content that is to come and um, continue to uh, share, like, comment, post, um, whatever it is you feel necessary. So if you know somebody who needs to hear this to encourage them to get through whatever they may be dealing with, please share. And definitely continue to watch and come, uh, keep coming back and joining us. Get tongue-tied. You got me all nervous over here, I guess. You do that. You do that to me, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Today's topic is... An interesting one. Um, it's how do we handle the age gap? Um, my husband and I are 15 years apart. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're 15 years apart, but we have so many commonalities. And um, that's honestly what helps us because we have a lot of things in common. Even though, you know, when he's 15 years my senior, doesn't mean I can't relate with him and he can't relate with me, but things that we don't relate with each other on, we're able to kind of help each other along to kind of like um, explain through or help each other understand like where we're coming from. Um, if there's things that we don't necessarily meet eye to eye on, we're, we're good at making sure we uh, communicate that with each other, would you say, or? My C's. <laughs> yes, his C's. <laughs> Communicate, compromise, and... Compliment. Compliment. I almost forgot, but yes. Uh, what? Whatever. All right, so, um, but yeah, no, that's the, the focus for us. Like, we, we have dealt with a lot of uh, pushback um, and from various people outside of him and I, and, but we've persevered through. We've been together for 10 years. Yeah. Um, married eight years, coming up in April. Mm -hmm. New beginnings, y'all. New beginnings. <laughs> um, and this, I, mean, I will continue to say um, I'm happy. Um, I could have asked for a better mate to do life with, and I'm truly blessed to have him. Um, but I do feel like having um, a relationship with God has helped us um, to get through the negative. Um, and just like really focusing in on just like building what we have and not worrying about the outsiders. Was it a, a easy decision to say, okay, yes, let's do this for me. Um, I've dated older before, 
but I was at that point, like I said, where I was done with dating, period. So it was initially a hesitation in the beginning because I wasn't sure if I was ready to go down that road again. Um, what about you? Well, before before you get too far that way, I know that um, it was told to me by my late mother that age was nothing but a number. Mm. And I didn't relate to that for the longest of times. And then meeting someone like yourself that's old soul, <laughs> But it's also that you're uh, young and wise, mm, okay. and so that's what made the difference. Um, along with me being able to make the make the the leap into a younger relationship. Okay, well, I like being young and wise. I think you're an answer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been told before that I have an old soul that I'm, you know, a lot of years ahead of my time. Um, but that's probably because I've had to grow up so quickly in certain areas, but also along the way I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot from a lot of wise people um, and really have paid attention to, you know, the things that have been said and just their relationships and their environment and things like that that has helped to build me uh, and make me into the woman that I am. So I feel like that's been helpful in this relationship. Yeah, I um, agree. <laughs> um, my maturity level is a lot higher than most. Like, do I have my moments where I like to play and goof around? Heck yeah. You know, I'm a child at heart always. Um, that's what helps me be who I am. Um, but when it comes to, you know, dealing with the seriousness of our relationship, I am um, the mature, I'm very mature in our conversation when it's time to have them and just really, we really can sit down and really dig through different things. And I provide great insight just as well as he does. So it's not like, oh, he's older than me, so um, I can't tell him anything or, you know, I'm not wise. Yeah, and it goes vice versa. Um, she being younger and I can't relate to where she is. I can relate, you know, both ways because I always felt that you can learn something from everyone. Mm -hmm. And that's another discussion even with children and uh, things of that nature and nieces and nephews. But um my wife just, we balance each other out very well and um, we like the same things. And that's very important for me to, to know that we like the same things. We, we love doing the same things. We love to chill, we love to uh, travel, um, we love the ocean, we love to party, you know, <laughs> we do party, <laughs> but we love the Lord as well. But I mean, we love to uh, explore and venture. Yeah. And when you love the same things, it makes it easier to, um, get along and find that same camaraderie and even in just life in general as far as our bills and uh day-to-day -day chores i think she's got some videos where she's i'm doing chores i'm cleaning or I'm cooking or uh cutting up some things as well and uh we just understand uh the balance of family yeah and what it takes day to day and day and out yeah i think what's what helps um when you have that age gap is making sure that you are compatible yeah, um, that's, 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 um that's and right yeah that you you can balance each other out like you say you know you got to be compatible otherwise yeah. otherwise you're just going to be bumping yeah. bumping heads you know and you're going to feel unfulfilled in your relationship if you don't compa if you're not compatible with your mate um and you can't force it to happen it has to be something that's natural um, when you force love or you force relationship, then it ends up um, backfiring on you anyway because you're trying to make yourself um, involved or make yourself love or make yourself uh, like really be something that you're not. And that doesn't last long. That tends to fizzle out very quickly. And then here you are, then here you are like trying to figure out, okay, now, dang, I got to start all over because this is, this is what, what I thought it would be. So just... Uh, making sure that you're compatible with your mate. Yeah. Um, another thing that helped us, I mean, that we had to do, because like I said, we faced um, a lot of um, eye crossing and mm -hmm. eye gazing, people looking at me as if I'm his kid or something like that, because I have a very young look to myself. I'm, I'm old, y'all. Those that know me know me. I'm, know I'm old, but I have a very young face. So I'm getting looked at as if I'm, you know, as kid or whatever. So for us, we just continue to display love in public where we are. We don't have a problem with PDA. Um, we are cool with that. You know, we will be in public and we will hug and love. And, but it's not to show it off to anybody else. It's just to be naturally ourselves and be okay with it, no matter who's eye gawking. Because at the end of the day, they don't come and lay in this bed with me at night 
they're not here with me being my husband so they can't tell me or judge me or tell me anything about what's going on they're not my god so therefore they still can't judge me right a lot of people felt that it was a, a cougar mentality and then the other flip side was the more acceptable going into going with a younger lady a lot of the older men they that's what they you know they, they desire and they crave unfortunately and it's not that's the cliche of things and that doesn't fulfill everything i mean you got to have that being in common with one another and then like my wife said that um and being looked at as a kid and everything like she doesn't know anything and she knows way more than even some older uh relations have had and um uh, just know in general but you always should give everyone an opportunity everyone everyone should have that same opportunity no one should be put in a box uh so to speak like no one has an opinion no one can give uh any type of information regarding anything because when it comes to a boss or a pastor you got to listen to them if it's a doctor you got to listen to them whether young or old and same as should be uh, when you're going in your relationships uh mm -hmm. you should be looked at as equal yeah and realize that this is my mate it doesn't matter about the age it matters about where we're headed in life and uh what our destiny is together yeah definitely you know making sure um we we understand each other and where each other where we are in life you know granted he's not where i am in life but and i'm not no, nowhere near where he is in life but we are at an even playing field with each other to where we we um we meet yeah. meet in the middle yeah. and it's pretty it's pretty awesome um i don't know like some people will, will probably question and say well well what if would you say that it, since age is not a number that, you know, a 16 year old can date a 40 year old? And like, that's not what we're saying because 16 year olds are minors, you know what I'm saying? And at that point, there's not even a maturity level to handle such a serious relationship as adults are that have experienced life. It's illegal. I mean, that too. Yeah. <laughs> that too. Um, but some states is not, though. So that's, that's why I say some that. Some states and countries is not, yeah. but. You know that's not what we're getting at we're, we're talking about two mature adults who um have been through life and have experienced life and are really at a point to where they can really gravitate to each other and um mesh with each other well and can grow together um not to where it's dominant and subservient mm -hmm. i mean i'm not saying i'm not submissive to my husband i'm just saying that dominant and subservient is not our roles here that's not that like he tells me everything to do i have to stump or vice versa equal. we're equal yeah. in that even though we have our difference in age but we i feel like we handle it pretty well oh, like yeah. um I, I know we handle it very well i know that we don't let it affect us one way or the other and i know we have fun with our life yeah and it's starting to be uh more acceptable it was always more acceptable for a, a older man to have a younger lady but it's, it's awesome that it's starting to flip and they're starting to see the real genuine uh, understanding of it and not just looking at women as being cougars to a younger man. You know, if they have things in common, who are you to uh, mm. judge or who are you to question uh, or who are you to, uh, as my wife said, to make assumption about it? You mm -hmm. know, it's just you got to know that they are happy with one another and um, let them live. You know? Yeah. Let them live. Let them you know? Live. Yeah, because at the end of the day, they've got to make that decision. They've got to come to the um, realization of what's for them and what's not. Mm -hmm. um, yes, if you, you, you know, you care about a person and you want to share your thoughts and opinion about it, but at the end of the day, that person has to come to that um, full front head with it and make that decision on whether this is something they want to be be in or if it's something that's not for them. Not feel like they're being forced because they're outside are telling them don't do this don't do this don't do this because it's not something that's of the norm yeah and that's typical i mean that's the relationship yeah you know, right. regardless of age yeah that's all i wanted to say on that okay no <laughs> no problem you know you know let you in i'll yeah. let you in yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm a talker i can't help it yeah but yeah, that's right. yeah. but yeah so i mean that's us and what we feel how we feel about the age gap and how we handle it like I mean, it's 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 just a normal, natural relationship with us. It's not I'm um, looking at how old he is or he's looking at how young I am type of thing. It's just you know something that we uh, we don't allow to affect 
how we communicate with each other, how we live with each other, how we build with each other. Exactly. We work together. Um, you know, he brings his expertise. I bring my expertise in different areas. And, you know, we bring our, our wisdom mm -hmm. that we've acquired over the years to the table for each of us to share with each other to continue to build together. So mm -hmm. um, I feel like we handle it well. Yeah, that's what we do. Um, but I don't know. I mean, there's nothing much else to say <laughs> about that. I mean, that's that just... That's just that. What yeah. Other, well, other than comments, you know, that they may oh. have regarding that area too, that's fine to do. But definitely. Go ahead and continue. Now, as I was gonna say, that's what I was gonna say. You know, if you guys have thoughts and comments about it, definitely share. Or give stories, even. Or even know. stories it's of your cool. own. Yeah. <laughs> definitely share with us in the comments and let us know, like, your thoughts on um, someone dating someone that may be 5, 10, 15, 20 years older than you. Um, what your experience has been if you've done that or if um, how you feel about it if let's say it's your child or if it's uh, your sibling yeah. um, how do you feel about it and just look, share your thoughts with us again this is not us being experts in this yeah. this is just us experiencing life together and how it all worked out I've had relationships where I've dated older before and it didn't work out as well as this one has so um, there are times where it doesn't always work but that doesn't mean it's, it's something that um, it's bad for you, right. per se. It's just the person that you decided to try that with wasn't um, um, the right fit. It, yeah. He wasn't, he, he or she wasn't your right mold for that. You know, life happens. Things happen, you know, but, you know, it doesn't say to, to be fearful of someone because, oh, they're this age or that age. Um, just make sure you're comfortable with it. You got to be comfortable with it. Right. At the end of the day, you're the one that has to be in that relationship with the person. So you've got to be comfortable with it. But that's 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 it in a nutshell. Anything else for you? No, that's that's it. One hundred. That's keeping it one hundred. <laughs> keep that's it right 100. there. That's it. Now you said keeping it one hundred. That is. It is what it is. There you go. All right, guys. That's all we have for today with Pillow Talk with Tia and Tay. We appreciate you guys for stopping by and checking out our channel. Um, again, don't forget to leave a, com leave a comment. Definitely give us a thumbs up yeah. and share it with somebody else who can benefit from this content. Yeah. And we'll catch you guys on next week. Yes, and we are appreciating all the phone calls as well. We're getting just as many of those. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and Thank it's you been guys. awesome uh, conversing on the phone or conversing by text. And I uh, appreciate those. So. Yes. Wish everyone well and everyone stay safe. All right. Bye, guys. All right. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sorry. My bad. No freebies. I know. I understand. Oops. You comfy? Yeah. Showing that much leg. I might crop some of it out. Okay. <sighs> I love doing this with you. Really this is fun. Yes. Doesn't even feel like we're doing work or anything. We're just having a conversation. Yeah, we are. Pretty cool. Yeah. Trying to find our topics. Yeah, I know. I feel good. <laughs> I that. Yeah. They're in here somewhere. Somewhere. No love and rainbow. Mm. That's a good one. You got your, your intro? You're going to be doing the intros all month. Okay. Starting yep. us That's out. Hard. That's how I get uh, used to it. You comfortable? You ready? Oh, for yeah. It? Yeah, definitely. Okay. It's about you. That's whenever you're hey, ready. I'm T, and this is Tay. Mm -hmm. We're Bill Talk. Okay. Why are you laughing about it? I'm smiling. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I can't smile. I just need to be confident because you see, I'm happy you said it. Oh, it doesn't look like happy. It's like, <laughs> But I didn't do that. I just said, okay. <laughs> but the only thing we got to shift is this is Pillow Talk with T and Tay. Uh -huh. Or welcome back to Pillow Talk with T and Tay. Okay. Or if you do that intro, I'll just add the extra piece to it. How about that? We work together as a team. Okay.
I'm about to allow me to do it. I did. So you just want me to leave you? Huh? Leave me solo and you just come on in with the, the you know, old conversation and what we doing. <laughs> It said I'm glad for the month, so you yes, gotta be dear. okay with it. Yes, dear. Okay. All right, shot to see. Yes, dear. All right, shot to see. I don't like you calling me that. What do you like me calling you that? I can't call you on. <laughs> oh, wait, well, okay. Okay. All right. Fine. So you I have guess. to let me call you what is your we are a reflection of your channel. Yeah. Oh that's we, true, but like <laughs> we need to, But I think for me though it's more so like it's strange to hear you call me Chelsea Speaks. Like people other people, yeah, but you it's strange to hear you say it to me. Like you tell people about Chelsea Speaks, but it's strange to hear you call me that. So in order to tell people about Shanti Speaks, I have to call you Shanti Speaks. But not me to say it me to me, you say it to other people about me. Excuse me. You're missing. Say the song. I love you anyway. I would hope you do. <laughs> but I was just never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Let it go. Let it go. Are you frozen now? Let it go. Get you a deal with Disney. Let it go. <laughs> Gonna be frozen. I get you a deal with Disney. Let it go. <laughs> Are you ready? I am always ready. Okay. <laughs>